the 2K Sports pregame show. Okay, basketball fans, with me, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Ernie Johnson. You're watching 2K Sports, but you know that already. Tonight, we'll be watching the Los Angeles Clippers playing against the Orlando. Well, for Orlando, this is a team that is reeling a bit. Hoping to start the year strong, they've had trouble communicating on both ends of the floor. Very little cohesion. They're hoping to pull things together tonight to try and turn the tide. And guys, Aaron Gordon, the fourth overall pick back in 14, got a lot of attention for his performance at the dunk contest. Kenny, how can he take his game to the next level? He's taking it there. His shooting has improved. His ball handling has improved. And his need to take the big play or have the big moment, he is stepping into that limelight. Yes, he is. He's an elite athlete, still very young. I would love to see him pair with a real mentor named Kenny Smith. I'd pair up with him. What would, you, what would your advice be then to Aaron Gordon if you were going to mentor Aaron Gordon? The first thing I'd say, basketball is the business. And let's start there. Let's, everything else is a distraction because basketball is the business right now. Solid advice. Let me check with Shaq Thomas. You like that? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. You got he, issues, man. He talks to himself. Time for tip. He answered himself. That's what's worse. Talking to yourself or answering yourself is worse. Right? Equal. Let's meet the starting lineup of the visiting Los Angeles Clippers. At center, Arjun Gorton. At small forward, Neil Gornar. At point guard. Patrick Beverly. At the other guard position, Lou Williams. At the other forward position, Tobias Harris. The head coach of the visiting team is Doc Rivers. Number 22, Jared Grant. Starting at small forward, 16, 10 inches. Number one, Jonathan Isaac. Starting at the other guard, 16, 7 inches. Number 10, Evan Fournier. Number 9, center from USC, Nick Bujovic. The other forward, at 6 foot 9 inches, number double zero. Aaron Gordon. The head coach for your team. Once again, go Orlando Magic. We're live, the home of the Magic, the Amway Center in beautiful Orlando, Florida. Hi everyone, we're happy to have you with us for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldridge joins us on the sidelines. The Magic are looking to grab one here for the home fans in Orlando before heading out again. It's been a bit of a slow start for the season for them so far, but it's still very early and a lot of games to be played. And you wondered coming into the season if this team might have some issues. And that's been the case here thus far. We'll see if they can address those issues. It's a long season and find a way to turn it around. Here are the five for the Clippers. Harris and Gortat are up front. Williams and Gallinari out on the perimeter. 
and it's Beverly, and it's the one. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. And Jaron Grant, five years at Notre Dame, redshirted as a freshman and helped lead them to the Elite Eight back in 2015. The Irish had a high-powered offense, Kevin. A lot of shooters. A good preparation for him in the NBA. And he makes the first. In the early part of the season, Steve, if the chemistry isn't working, what can you do to try to fix that chemistry issue? You know, I, obviously the general manager and the coaches, this is where they have to be communicating amongst one another. And they have to have a great feel because if it's starting, it's not working. And this is where you have to look at maybe benching some guys or possibly trading somebody. But that's where communication comes in. You got to have it from management to coaching to players. Players want to know, don't they? they? They don't want to be left in the dark. At least they want to know the lay of the land for them. Most of the great organizations, the communication's out front, and that's what players love. They love the trust factor from management to coaches to organizations. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. <laughs> Outside Fournier. Lock at six. From ten feet out. And the shot is long. Williams against Fournier. The shot by Williams, no good. Grant outside. Just over a minute played here in the start of the game. There's the dish to Vucevic. First shot, first basket. He's out of the block as fast. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. A lot of laziness going on out there. Still early in the game, but that needs to get worked out. Now, here's Beverly. He had 16 points in the win against Philadelphia. Outside Fournier. Good on the triple. Fournier's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jaron Grant. Right. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Beverly against Grant. Now, here is Golinar. He's guarded close, and it's Jonathan Isaac with the foul. That's his first That's foul. His first personal foul. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Now, here's Beverly. He's covered by Isaac. Down to five on the shot clock. Yeah, and they're just hitting 20% of their shots. It's a rough, rough, rough start to this game. Grant down low. Defended by Beverly. You know, with that much room, you don't lay it up. You throw it down like you've been disrespected. No good that time. Nice D from Fournier. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Kicks it to Vucevic. And slam dunk by Vucevic. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And when you look at Evan Fournier, he's just a reliable source for points whenever he's on the floor. Yeah, and Fournier is a bit of a quiet scorer. Maybe he always ends up with a lot of points, but doesn't tend to wow you with any individual plays. Terrific shooter who just makes the most of his touches and his minutes whenever he's on the floor. Beverly against Grant. Beverly dishes to Gortat, Gallinari, and he drops in the layup off the glass. 
Gallinari's got his first points of the night. So much of his offense is perimeter oriented. Good to see Gallinari attack inside. And that one, good. This is a guy who knows how to orchestrate an offense. Terrific lead pass. Clippers trail by five. Williams kicks to Beverly. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Fournier against Williams. Shoots from 12, and he drops that one in. Williams has got five now. Well, he can hit the three. He can drive it. Now you see what Williams can do from the mid-range. Grant finds Gordon. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. No one rotating over to help on the mismatch. Easy lay-in. Beverly, the pass to Gorgia. Yep, it counts. When Beverly concentrates on passing, he makes his team better. Superb at getting passes over to his guys. Los Angeles shooting their first free throw tonight. One shot. Marching Gortat, no good on the free throw. And at the offensive end, Gortat probably doesn't get his due. He's got a lot of moves, and he can finish with either hand. And his work on the offensive glass is more than capable. Now, here's Fournier. He's coming off a 22-point game against Sacramento. And he gets it to go. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Grant against Beverly. He gets it in there. Off the dribble, Beverly is dangerous. Can turn the corner or rise up and shoot over you. We'll go to David Aldridge. You spoke with head coach Doc Rivers. What's the news, David? The frustration was evident in his voice when I asked him about their record. He told me, well, we've been learning the hard way. Anything less than 100% effort will not get it done. We want our guys to recognize that and be hungrier than they've been. Is it talent? Effort? Oh, well, they're still trying to figure it out. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Count that bucket. And he's really been working to get those looks, and it's starting to pay off here early on. Fournier dishes to Grant. He kicks to Vucevic. A floater, and he lays it up and in. Grant. The beauty of the teardrop. Very difficult to really contest. For the Los Angeles Clippers, they come in off a good outing against the 76ers in Philadelphia. And anytime you come off the bench, you know your role. And that night, it was about scoring. Especially on the road. You're hoping for any extra contributions. But for a couple of stretches, there the backups control the game. This is a problem for him. Inconsistent from the mid-range. Grant surveying the D. Pass to Gordon. It's stolen by Harris. And Gallinari kicks to Williams. Three-pointer. And he's good on the three ball. Williams has got a couple of threes now in the first for the Clippers. Smooth shooting motion from distance. Williams making it look easy. Fournier gets a wide open look. No good on the triple. The defense fortunate there. He's a guy you hate to leave wide open. Gallinari, and he hits it to tie the game up. Gallinari's got his second bucket. Against physical D, Gallinari with the improved strength and body control to finish. The Clippers in the past few seasons, Greg, have completely overhauled their roster. They are making some serious changes here. Practically nobody from the team two years ago is still with the franchise. It was a complete teardown, and they felt they needed to hit the reboot button. Jerry West knows what he's doing, though, and he's done this before with great success. 
And now only one away from being in the penalty. Orlando making some changes. Bamba is checked in for Vucevic. Jonathan Simmons comes in for Isaac. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Jaron Grant. And then for Los Angeles, Montrez Hill comes in for Gortat. And it's Avery Bradley in for Gallinari. Williams, that's good. Early in this quarter, he's been aggressive and selective with his shots. Tremendous efficiency. Augustine against Beverly. And stolen by Harrell. And now the Clippers on the break. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Patrick Beverly is an irritant. You hate playing against him. Love playing with him. You know, Patrick Beverly, first team all defense, uh, Smitty back in 2017. He gets right in your chest. He is a tenacious defender. He's hard-nosed. He's fearless, not just in your jersey. He wants to get under your skin. Uh, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. He's off on the first. Well, we know, Steve, the GMs are in a tough uh, position in this NBA. Trying to win, obviously, is, is the number one desire. But they got to balance everyone's view of the landscape. Uh, winning now as opposed to looking what's best for the future. And it's totally hard because we all understand what happens. Because um, you get penalized at the end of the year if you're not a team that's, you know, pretty much locked in the playoffs. You almost want to lose games to get a chance to have a better chance to get a higher draft pick. I think there's something that over the course of the next few seasons, this will be looked at very closely. Bamba with it. For three, Ross. And it's Bradley with the rebound. And it's Bradley with the ball for Los Angeles. And Bahamute inside. Simmons is there. And the shot goes down. They are just killing them on the interior. The Magic trail by three. And Augustine kicks to Gordon. Shoots over Scott. And the basket by Gordon. Gordon's got six points. And a lot of scoring here early on. This is the type of game the fans love to see. I love it. Really, both teams running plays that fit the personnel going back and forth. Now, here's Bradley. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Just five on the clock. And he drops it in from the low post. And the Clippers lead by three. Never the biggest guy on the floor, but Bradley relies on his length and athleticism in traffic. Here's Augustine. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And looking back last season, how about 87% from the line? So that's obviously nothing to sneeze at. The free throw drops for Augustine. LA has gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Pass to Scott inside. They get a hand on it. And now here comes Augustine leading the break. Finished off the break. Augustine's got his second bucket of the night. And he runs the floor with a purpose that time. Excellent play. You know what? And a late reaction by the transition D takes it himself uncontested. To the middle. Harold down low. 
three. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And a chance to check out some stats for Gordon. He had a strong showing last season. Put up about 17 points a game, eight rebounds, and two assists. And he's been putting up points with regularity. I mean, that's what they depend on, his killer instinct on offense. Well, and we've seen defenses try to adjust. But he has the intelligence along with the talent, just finds new ways to beat him. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. That's a, and that's a tough one. But on those illegal screen calls, the defender's never going to get the benefit of the doubt. Some guys, they just know how to get away with it, and some don't. And Beverly kicks to Harrell. Shoots over Bamba. And no good, his first shot of the night, missing. Orlando leading. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've just picked them apart. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Here's Beverly following the score by Aaron Gordon. The pass to Harrell. Tipped away. Shot clock at six. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Simmons. Shot clock at five. From deep three-point range. And it's Beverly missing. You don't want your best shooter heaving up that shot. No, not at all. Coach is not going to like that one. And if you let the little guy get airborne before you slide over to block him out, he can and will embarrass you on the boards. Now here's Beverly. One fourteen left to play in the first. Passes it to Scott. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Bradley against Gordon. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, Avery Bradley coming off a tumultuous season, traded twice, Steve, and battled a groin injury that eventually required surgery. You know what's not good? All this in a contract year. Not what you hope for. One of the league's hardest working players. He'll bounce back. Two shots. The first one falls. Well, you talk about the lockdown individual defenders in this league. Don't forget about Avery Bradley. That's been his calling card from the moment he set foot in the league. Isaac's checked in for the Magic. And so Bradley nails both of them. And Greg, for Bradley, there's some disconnect as far as his defensive impact. You know, the numbers guys will say it doesn't quite match up to his reputation. Yeah, I mean, more impactful as an on-ball defender than he is as, say, a help defender. Probably a little undersized for an off-guard, but, but his commitment, no doubt, is off the charts. The Magic shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. A free throw drops for Augustine. Both free throws good from Augustine. Taking advantage at the charity stripe like he always does. Terrific touch. Beverly against Augustine. 
Scott finds Bamute. Pass to Harold. He's now one for two with that bucket. Now here is Augustine. He's got seven. Seven second difference. Shot in game clock. Here's Bamba. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. And the Magic lead by four. And you see Bamba on the offensive end. Very raw, but has potential. Particularly from this range. And here's Beverly. Kicks to Harold. That's tipped. The main thing you get with Bamba, imposing defender, shot blocker, alters everything in the paint. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Orlando out in front. They're up by four. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? So far, they've been active, scoring the basketball, built up a little lead here, and looking good. The play calling has been perfect, backed up by beautiful execution. They've certainly captured the moment in that first quarter. Here's Bradley, coming in off a 10-point performance last game out, taking a look at Los Angeles. Mike's got out there with Luke and Bahamute. Then it's Patrick Beverly. Then it's Montrez Harrell. And it's Bradley in at the two. Good open look. Avery looking poised with the ball in his hands, making decisions. Augustine passes to Bamba. To the paint. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Beverly wide open. That one wide left. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Isaac kicks to Ross. Drops in the layup for two. Ross and the Magic lead by three. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Outside Brent. Goes up on the wing. Scott controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You have to box him out or he's going to beat you to the glass on both sides of the floor. Beverly against Augustine. Pass to Isaac. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, and those illegal screens have, have really become a point of emphasis for the officials. Yeah, so many of these can go either way. Very difficult for the screener to stay 100% motionless. Now, here's Beverly. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Here's Bradley. They grab their own miss. Scott lays it up off the glass. Scott. Scott's got four points now in the quarter. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Now here's Simmons. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Augustine, no luck. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And stolen by Simmons. There's the pass to Augustine. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That's foul number two for him. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Vucevic checked in for Terrence Ross. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Williams has checked in. Here's Vucevic. He has six. Isaac kicks to Augustine. Six to shoot. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Bank shot. No good. Unfortunately for him, the defense is slow to react, but he couldn't make them pay. Over in the corner, Williams. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Doc Rivers, the coach of the year in 2000 with the Orlando Magic. A championship with the Boston Celtics in 2008. 
a great career as an NBA coach. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, guys, the Orlando Magic has struggled to find difference-making players in the draft or in free agency. Their goal is to get younger but get better at the same time. And it's difficult to do, even in the Eastern Conference, but Orlando is determined to get this right. Kevin? And the journey continues for them and a lot of teams. DA, thank you. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Evan Fournier is checked in for Jonathan Isaac. And it's Jaron Grant in for Augustine. The Clippers also making some changes. Gortat's checked in for Montrez Harris. Harris comes in for Mike Scott. And it's going on right. in for Mbaumute. And Doc Rivers came to the Clippers after he avoided a rebuild in Boston. But he's staying put in L.A. for the revamp. A guiding voice for this team through some turbulent years. I think he's invested in making the Clippers a destination franchise. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Grant against Bradley. Now, here's Grant. Not a lot of room. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Clippers. Only given up six here in this quarter. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Orlando. And one of the few bright spots of their last season was sweeping the season series in this matchup. Orlando trailing here. Grant outside. That's a floater go, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That's on Marcin Gortat. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Now, Steve, to play in the NBA, you need to be in peak shape. Talk about your diet and workout regimen back when you were in the game. I will give myself an A-plus for workout regimen back in the day, Kevin. Wow. And then that diet part, ooh, ooh, I would say C-minus. That was a D. Yeah, you got it right. I would say a D. I try to give myself a little credit and say C-minus. I would say I love to see right now the cross workouts right now with guys doing Pilates, yoga, swimming. They're trying different things. One drops, he ties it up. Here's Williams. 26 points for him last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. Yeah, and it seemed like he spent about half the game shooting free throws. Credit him for really taking it to the defense. And that's the look this offense is designed to produce. Always frustrating when you do everything right, yet just can't complete the play. Fournier's shot is off. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now, here is Gallinari. 11 points for him in that last game against Philadelphia. You know what? I also like how he attacked the glass. Gave a terrific effort in that department. And it's in there. Orlando, they've gone 3 of 7 shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Grant kicks to Fournier. Now, Bamba. Vucevic dishes to Grant. Five on the clock. Bradley with some nice D. The Clippers in the lead. Beyond the arc. And another three for the Clippers. For a guy who's much more natural shooting the long two, Bradley's worked hard to increase his range. Grant with the ball. He's got seven. And Vucevic kicks to Grant. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Gallinari. For Orlando, they have shot six or seven at the line. Jared Grant.
First free throw is good. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. And the Magic making a change here. Gordon's checked in. Second free throw, no good. Los Angeles leading by four. That's good from Harris on the assist from Gallinari. Harris has got his first two points of the night. Difficult to stop inside. Harris with the excellent feel and touch around the basket. Grant kicks to Fournier. Portshot with the block. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Williams with a clean look, and Vucevic pulls it down. Vucevic has got rebound number five here tonight. Grant, and the layup falls. Grant's got 10 points. Amazing how he gets this one to go. Size doesn't matter. But it can in the painted area. Regardless, he's crafty enough to get up a good shot. That one drops for him. Williams has got the lead back up to six now for Los Angeles. Grant outside to the inside. That's a two from Gordon. Offensive rebound and a wide open look for Simmons. A three-pointer no good. Not a big threat from out there. You see why the defense backed off a little. Clippers leading by six. And Jonathan Simmons, the explosive wing player, went undrafted but has earned a spot in the NBA after a strong couple of years in the G League. Now he's established himself as a potent offensive player. You look at the trajectory of Williams' career. Second round pick, started slow, but his game has aged like a fine wine. Shooting two. And that one falls for Williams. And for Simmons, when he was in the G League, he developed, Greg, his playmaking. Yeah, spent some time at, at point guard at that level, and I think it helps him in terms of finding ways to create shots for himself. He's definitely, though, at his best when the ball is in his hands. Not so much a spot-up player, but he can create offense for a team in a hurry. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, when it comes to getting fans out of their seats, the crossover dribble does it every time. It's so fun to watch. Who are some of the best doing that, you think, Steve? You know, Kyrie Irving, you know. Yes. Steph Curry, Chris Paul, John Wall, James Harden, Jamal Crawford. Those are the guys and names that just stand out. Those are the guys that make the Smitty's top five plays under the rim. Irving's handle is just phenomenal, I think. Don't you? Yeah, it is. I mean, I think he's the top of his class. And so here are the Clippers. Six-point game. And Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that's his fourth foul. And we're not even at halftime. That is going to limit his playing time and his aggressiveness the rest of the game. Bamba is checked in for Orlando. Ross comes in for Jonathan Simmons. And Harris, wide open, he shoots, hits it from three-point range. Tobias Harris. Harris has got five points in the quarter. Not a high percentage long-range shooter, but Tobias Harris knocked that one down. Grant finds Gordon. Back to Grant. Here's Ross. Basket good. Ross has got his second bucket of the game to go. Ross didn't seem bothered at all by the contact there. Nice finish. On the wing, Williams. Here's the floater, and the layup is up and in. Williams has got the lead up to nine now for the Clippers. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. 
Fournier with the ball. Williams picks him up. Fournier passes to Bamba. Ball's knocked loose. Back to Fournier. Orlando with a fresh 24. Count it. Good. Bamba's got his second bucket tonight. The activity from Bamba when he's playing with a high motor, watch out. Passes it to Williams. Add that basket to his impressive total. Brings him to 10 for 14. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Ross. And the jam by Ross. He has size, but the first step of Terrence Ross is what makes him so good on the drive. Friend against Bradley. Williams kicks to Bradley. Gallinari surveying the D. Six on the shot clock. From 10 feet out, again, Los Angeles. A minute 50 left in the first half. Outside Fournier. Bradley against Grant. Back to Fournier. And Orlando again with the bucket. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. And the Clippers call time here. For the Magic, Isaac comes in for Gordon, and DJ Augustine subbed in for Grant. A big group substitution here for the Clippers. Harrell, he's checked in for Gortat. Scott comes in for Tobias Harris. And Bahamute's checked in for Gallinari. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Avery Bradley. Here's Augustine following the score by Lou Williams. Augustine dishes to Ross. Now the feed to Bamba. And there's a whistle that goes on Luke and Bahamute. That's foul number two for him. Fifty-nine seconds left to play here in the half. Down low. Here's Bamba. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And have not had as much success in the paint this quarter. Everything has been from the perimeter. And with Muhammad Bamba, one of the first things you notice is that 7-9 wingspan. I mean, yeah, he's got to add more muscle on that frame, but he can use that reach already to make an impact at both ends. And that one falls for Bamba. Uh, the raw talent Bamba has, just so impressive. A shot-blocking specialist who also makes an impact on the offensive end. Now here's Harold. He had 10 points in the win against the 76ers in Philadelphia. Beverly looking around. Six to shoot. Poked away. From deep. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Bamba's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Got that one up quick. Now it's just a three-point clipper lead. Great vision there from Ross to find the open man. Williams against Fournier. Now here's Williams. He's covered closely. He kicks to Beverly. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Clippers lead by five. 
and, and those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. The game's been all about Lou Williams for Los Angeles. A terrific quarter for him. And now he has a total of 27 points. Shouldn't take him long to get up over 30. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you very much. Lou, in the first half, your offense was clicking. What was the difference getting off to a hot start? The I think we play with a lot of energy. The ball swinging around. They're using a lot of help side defense. We're just taking advantage of it. And really breaking them down. Thanks, Lou. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey folks, welcome back. Ernie Johnson alongside the Jet. That's Kenny Smith. The Diesel. That's Shaquille O'Neal. A lot of big time action so far in this one. Lou Williams has been having a big night. He had 27 points, two rebounds, and one assist. And taking a look at the Clippers, Kenny, what did you see out there? Man, sometimes Lou Williams would just go crazy. He has the ability to put the ball on the floor, get by people, and convert off the contact. Now that's his calling card. Check. what'd you think about Orlando? Aggressive. I called them up earlier. I like it. They're taking it hard to the rack, dictating the pace, setting the physical tone. You're not going to get that by launching threes all night. Everybody knows that. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. It's been a clinic out there by Lou Williams. And every team needs this. A guy who challenges the defense with that slashing ability. You know what? So many teams focus on the perimeter and alley-oops. It's important to have someone who can work that in-between area. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Gordon down low with Bamba next to him. Grant is up there with Evan Fournier. And it's Isaac in at the small forward position. And that's the group for Steve Clifford as we begin the second half. Now here's Beverly. Gallinari left side. Shoots over Isaac. And it's Gallinari missing. The Magic trail by five. Grant outside. Now, here's Isaac. Golinar recovering. Flies a three. Golinari with the rebound. Clippers leading by five. Pass to Williams. The three. Rebound by the Magic. Outside Fournier. Kicks to Grant. Harris against Gordon. Back to Fournier. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And superb at positioning himself on the offensive glass. Bamba's length is a big reason he gets these putback jams. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, the Clippers have hit the reset button, and you wonder how that affects their head coach, Doc Rivers. Now, he seemed reluctant to lead a rebuild with the Celtics, but he's on board doing it with the Clippers. Even though the Clippers relieved him of his title of president of basketball operations in 2017, Rivers has just signed a new extension that will keep him coaching the team for the next few years. Kevin? Well, if nothing else, D.A., he has guided them through some pretty dark hours. Thank you. Here's Vucevic. Clippers able to drain the three. Grant outside. Pass to Isaac. Fournier in the corner. Over Williams. Fournier's shot is off. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Here's Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. Attacking the rim. Tobias with a solid vertical to do this. 
Beverly against Grant. The pass to Vucevic. Up top, Fournier. Off target from three-point range. You know, I like the competitive fire, but he's still really out of sync. Colinari wide open. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. And a chance here to check out some stats on Lou Williams. Last year, getting it done. 11th in free throw percentage. And he ranked in the top 15 in points per game. One of the league's premier offensive threats. And let's again give him credit for knocking down free throws at such a torrid pace. He was operating in a steady groove all last season. Now, here is Gortat. Danilo Gallinari unable to get his last shot to go. Williams shot is off. The Magic trail by eight. Grant outside. Passes it to Vucevic. He dishes it to Fournier. Back to Vucevic. Over Gallinari. He can't get that one to fall. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Beverly against Gordon. And Beverly kicks to Harris. Shoots over Grant. That's good from Harris on the assist by Beverly. Nine points for Tobias Harris. Magic have gone only one of six in the field in the third quarter. Not how they pictured the half start. And now the first time out called here for the Magic. Smitty, you're looking around the league right now. Certain players extremely smart. Which guys do you think will make the transition the easiest from player to coach? You know, some guys that stick out. Chris Paul, I think Mike Conley, uh, LeBron James, obviously. Those guys, they just stick out. You can see their coaches on the floor, Draymond Green. They just have a way because they have those leadership qualities and also they play the game the right way. They have such a good understanding and a good feel. Those are some of the guys that stand out for me. That was a good list. You're right. Al Isaac, after Gallinari, missed from long range. Shot to stop the run. Isaac passes to Gordon. And Vucevic kicks to Simmons. Orlando moving the ball around. Here's Grant. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Shot's good by Simmons. Yeah, love watching Isaac find the open teammate. Has great floor awareness out there and just knows when one of his guys has a clean look. And here are the Clippers now following the bucket by Orlando. Harris kicks to Beverly. On the wing, Williams. The three. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got six rebounds in the game. Now, here's Grant. He's got ten. Outside for Simmons. High post, Vucevic. Beverly against Grant. Off the left rim and out. Over in the corner, Williams. And a miss there on the triple. And still looking for his first triple of the second half. He had three at halftime. Golinari with the steal. And Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up the foul. Nikola. That will be foul number five on him. DJ Augustine's checked in for the match. And then for Los Angeles. Harrell, he's checked in for Gortat. Scott comes in for Golinari. And it's Avery Bradley in for Lou Williams. Bradley, that's for two. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Beautiful execution, the rhythm, the timing, and Avery's a good finisher off the catch. Poke loose. Augustine against Harris. Augustine passes to Simmons. His three-pointer is off the mark. Clippers leading by 10. Here's Bradley. Here's Harrell. Plays it up and banks it in. Harrell's got his second basket of the game. 
Oh, easy put bag. No one got a body on it. And there's one thing you're trying to minimize. It's second chance opportunities or defensive rebounding for them. Now here's Gordon. He's got eight. Once again off the mark, Orlando. You're not sure of the thought process on that one. Really bad shot selection. Well, you're playing for the team, not just yourself. They needed much better execution that trip down the floor. Three-pointer Augustine buries it from three-point range. Augustine for Augustine's got it back down to within single digits for the Magic. And here's Beverly. He has six. And here's Harris from the arc. Rebound by the Magic. Isaac's got four rebounds in this game. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. And the foul on Mike Scott. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Magic making a switch here. Boss is checked in, and Los Angeles making a change here as well. And Baamute is checked in for Tobias Harris. Here's Simmons. Here's Augustine. Shot clock at six. There's the triple. Trains it from beyond the arc. Augustine. Augustine's got six here in this quarter. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. And Beverly kicks to Mbaamute. Pass to Harrell. It's stolen by Vucevic. And now the fast break. Ross with the ball. Feeds it to Augustine. Ross against Harrell. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. What you like about the drive there from Ross is how he used his body to shield the ball and take the contact. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And he shot foul shots at about a 75% clip a season ago. Bamba is checked in for Aaron Gordon. One shot. Here's Beverly. Six points for him. He kicks to Harrell. Back to Beverly. To the middle. And stolen by Simmons. Here's Ross. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. All right, a chance to check out stats for DJ Augustine. How he performed last season. Last season put up about 10 points a game. Four assists and two rebounds. Backup point guard, always an important position, and he fills that role beautifully. Without a good floor conductor coming off the bench, your uh, offense can quickly shots. grow stagnant. Two he shots. solves that problem well. The first free throw is good. He hits both from the strike. Los Angeles has gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. And the Clippers call time here. Yeah, you, you need to refocus now. Momentum is running against you. And from what I'm seeing, there's too many unfavorable matchups out there on the floor. Let's take this chance to see which of last season's teams had the most second-chance points in the league. Fourth, the Clippers. This was a team that was really savvy when it came to getting position under the boards and then getting those offensive putbacks. So it's the Clippers now. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Beverly. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Beverly's got five points now this quarter. Here's Augustine bringing it up now for the Magic. They trail by three. Kicks it to Vucevic. 
Pass to Ross. And stolen by Harrell. And now it's Bradley running. He can go all the way. Rips down the breakaway slam. He fired up the Jets. Avery Bradley beats his man up court. Took care of business. And there's the pass to Ross. Misses the three. Clippers leading by five. Now Mbamute. He has five. Passes it to Beverly from outside the arc. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got rebound number eight now on the night. And there's a whistle that goes on Luke and Bahamute. And that'll be his third foul so far. Here's Vucevic. Defensively, though, they're much improved here in the second half. They've limited the open looks, making them work for everything. Beverly with the ball. He's got eight. Here's Scott. Nailed from three-point land. And now an eight-point Clipper lead. I love the patience Beverly has developed with the ball in his hands. Terrific find. Augustine dishes to Ross. Pass to Bamba. They need this. No good from Ross. Los Angeles leading by eight. Now here's Beverly. There's a minute 34 left in the third quarter. Good on the triple. Three, Scott's got two Michael now Scott. from beyond the arc in the third for Los Angeles. Time, Time called here. The Magic decide to talk it over. If they ain't got a price to pay. California on my license plate. Kevin Fournier is checked in for Orlando. Well, Orlando shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. And Augustine kicks to Bamba. Here's Vucevic. That one a little long. Yeah, momentum right now is against them. They, they're just going to have to figure out a way to ride this one out. You know, easier said than done. What they need to do is string together some positive plays, try to turn the tide. Really smoking the nets now after a difficult time shooting in the first half. The Clippers have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. Shooting one. Patrick Beverly is a tone setter, someone who doesn't back down from anyone. I admire his confidence. Beverly against Augustine. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. No question, he got bumped on that shot. He's shooting free throws, number four in five here. DJ Augustine. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. A free throw drops for Augustine. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Good on both. Now the Clippers with it. They've got a 13-2 run going. And Beverly kicks to Mba Amute. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. A chance to check out Los Angeles' upcoming schedule. On Monday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And then on Thursday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum 
and the Portland Trailblazers. And looking at the schedule, it isn't ideal in terms of the upcoming games with the amount of quality teams they're going to be playing, but it's also a good chance for you to get some confidence and, and really see just how good you are. And he knocks down the first one. That misses, so he splits the free throws. The Magic trail by 13, and the foul on Mike Scott. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. Evan Fournier. Shooting two. And that one falls for Fournier. That one falls, so he hits both of them. There's 42 seconds left in the third quarter. Beverly against Augustine. Here's Scott. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. Completely on his game. Hasn't missed a shot all night. A big part of why this team is winning. The feed now to Fournier. It's stolen by Bradley. Now here's Bradley, the fast break opportunity. Pass to Mba Amute. To the left wing. And here's Beverly over Augustine. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers. 13 points up at the end of the period. And they've created a bunch of turnovers with that terrific D. We've got more in store for you right after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. With the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And so Grant will bring it up for the Magic. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. So for the Clippers right now, they've got Harrell. Mike Scott up there with Luke and Baamuta. Then it's Williams. And it's Bradley in at the point guard position. Here's Bradley. After the made shot from Nikola Vucevic. Amute finds Williams. Goes up the baseline. Orlando grabs the miss. Fournier's got four rebounds now tonight. Inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his third personal foul. At the line. Shooting two. DJ Augustine. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he makes the first. Gortat's checked in for Los Angeles. Alinari comes in for Mba Amute. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Clippers leading by nine. 
Bradley passes to Gortat. Inside, he's looking for Harrell and finds him. Back to Gortat. Four on the clock. Shot on the wing. And it's Gallinari missing. Magic shooting, an outstanding 53% for the game. Gallinari against Fournier. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his fourth personal foul. At the line, shooting two. Evan Fournier. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And the Magic making a change here. Isaac's checked in. And so Fournier nails both of them. Clippers leading by seven. Bradley deciding where to go with it. It's Harold, top of the key. Bradley dishes to Harold. On the wing, Williams. He's guarded by Fournier. I don't know what's happened to him in this second half, but he's been terrible from deep. To the middle. He dishes it to Bamba. And stolen by Harold. And it's Bradley off the drive. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Jaron Grant. Yeah, watching Bradley. Not sure exactly how to describe it. There's a quiet burst of the way he moves. And Jonathan Isaac making progress. But he was drafted knowing he had a lot of work to do. Yeah, and you really shouldn't try and compare Isaac to the rest of his draft class. He, he's going to be on a different timeline as far as his development goes. Might take longer for him to be ready. But the payoff, man, could be huge as his ceiling is really high. That free throw good from Bradley. A lot to like about Avery Bradley's game. Terrific on ball defender, solid spot up shooter, and will get you some boards as well. Gordon's checked in for Bamba. Harris is checked in for the Clippers. All three throws good from Avery Bradley. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. Now, here's Grant. Outside Fournier. Five on the clock. Shoots from the elbow, and right through it goes. And both teams scoring at a higher rate here down the stretch. You know what? It's all about the offense. Decisive and prolific. Fun duel to watch. Bradley can't get it to go. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Harris outside. Los Angeles with another miss. The Magic trail by seven. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Fournier finds Grant. Lays it up off the glass. And they have gotten themselves back into this game just in the nick of time. If that run had come any later, it would have been Katie bar the door. They've done a great job, but they're not done yet. Here's Harris after Jaron Grant's bucket. And it's Harris off the drive. Back to Williams. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jaron Grant. Grant. That's his fourth foul of the contest. This could be a problem. That's his fourth foul with plenty of basketball left to play. A 
a look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. A nice shot by Harris. Lofty arc on that jumper helps Harris convert in the face of pressure. Grant against Bradley. Grant kicks to Vucevic. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And when they desperately needed to get things turned around, they were able to rally and get back into it. This was all sparked by their defense. They got some stops, and they did it in a hurry. Williams. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You know, there, there are certain players who just seem to have a knack for putting the ball in the basket. Lou Williams is in that category. First one falls for him. And Lou Williams, not the biggest, not the most athletic, but Greggy finds ways to score. Yeah, you know, whether he's creating space or, or creating contact, very few play that cat and mouse game better than Lou Williams. And both free throws good for Williams. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. And Fournier kicks to Isaac. Sweet little floater. And Isaac is rapidly becoming a load for the defense. He utilizes that huge frame to get the shot he wants in the paint. Now here's Brad. Outside Williams. Five to shoot. Pulls up on the wing. And that one hits back iron. Boy, he loves that mid-range jumper. Just fails to create enough room to operate. It's stolen by Bradley. And stolen by Fournier. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. Shooting two, Evan Fournier. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Fournier. And so Fournier nails both of them. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They've led by as many as 14 points. That's good from Harris on the assist by Bradley. 13 points for Tobias Harris. And a nice pass by Bradley. He's always been the size of a point guard, now starting to play more like one. Grant kicks to Vucevic. Back to Grant. Shot clock at five. Over Harris. No good from Grant. Clippers leading by five. Outside Bradley. Launches a three. Fournier pulls it down. The Magic have gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. From 13, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Lou Williams. At the line, shooting two. Evan Fournier. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots.
and that one falls for Fournier. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for Avery Bradley. And so Fournier nails both of them. Here's Beverly. Harris outside. Over Gordon. Harris's shot is off. You know what? Just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. Al Fournier. Gordon just five to shoot another miss by Orlando Los Angeles leading by three Gallinari up top he's covered by Isaac outside Williams here's the three the shot no good nice D from Fournier Uncovered and good. He nails it. Fournier. Fournier's got 10 points now just in this quarter. I tell you, Isaac has great vision for a big man. He can see over defenders easily thanks to that size. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. At least checked in for Los Angeles. And the Magic making a change here as well. Bamba is checked in for Vucevic. That free throw good from Gortat. And this team will make you pay when they get chances at the free throw line. It's helped them pull ahead here today. Teardrop shot, and it's finished off by Grant as he lays it in. Efficiency has been the hallmark right now down the stretch. He is making the most of his opportunity. And Gallinari kicks to Harris. Back to Gallinari. Stolen by Bamba to tie it up and too long on the shot the Clippers in the lead Beverly with the ball and he comes up with the deuce Beverly's got 10 points here in the second half you talk about a player who never backs down Beverly unbothered by the good deep and here's Gordon from outside Gortat with the rebound Gortat's got 9 rebounds in the game getting it done Isaac with the steal. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Avery Bradley. No doubt the size of Isaac is a problem for the defense. Excellent at using that long frame to draw contact. Two shots. First one falls for him. And Isaac really continues to intrigue you. A 6'10 forward who, who's just got great agility and can be a nightmare in transition. And the Clippers making a switch here. And Baamute's checked in. Second free throw, no good. And so it's Gallinari with it. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Orlando foul. That's his third personal game. Fifth team foul. At the line for the Clippers, Luke and Balamute taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And 
and Mba Amute drops them both. And that puts them right around 90 from the free throw line. Really good work here in the second half. Outside Fournier. And Gortat over to help. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so here's Orlando. Grant the pass to Bamba. Five on the clock for three. Fournier connects from three-point range. Fournier's got 27 points. I'll tell you, he is scorching the nets this quarter. Maybe that'll help wake up some of his teammates. And Beverly kicks to Gortat. Stolen by Bamba. To tie it up. And the basket by Isaac. Isaac's got it all tied up now for the Magic. I tell you what, Isaac starting to show that clutch gene. He's not afraid and seems willing to put the team on his back. Now here's Beverly. Harris inside the line. And the Clippers miss again. One could argue that's a good shot, but maybe not the right shooter to take it. Baamute against Fournier. He kicks it to Gordon. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. And for the Clippers, they're shooting well. 50% from the floor. Harris. The stupendous finish in traffic. And the Clippers lead by two. When you need an important bucket, you try to get the ball into the hands of someone you can count on. Tobias is that type of score. And it's Gordon missing. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting in the fourth quarter down around 31%, not playing with as much energy here lately. And Abamute kicks to Beverly. Here's Harris. Orlando grabs the miss. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. Fournier's shot is off. You know, and after fighting to get back into it, that was the chance there to tie it up. <laughs> Ever so close. Needed that one to go down. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Here's Fournier. Tobias Harris picking up that last basket. Now the pass to Isaac. Kicks to Grant. Lets it fly. Good for basket number six for him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. Just a tiny lead for him. And a chance to make it a little bigger right here. And it's Gallinari missing. Trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but thus far, not working. You know what? At some point, you have to decide. Do you keep pressing the issue, or do you focus on setting up others? So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Simply put, out of control is how they played thus far. They're going to have to reel it in and show some more discipline. Only certain guys have the temperament to take this shot. Gallinari, one of them. Mba Amute with the steal. Harris with it. Pamba picks him up. Harris finds Gortat. Pass to Mba Amuta. Grant against Beverly. Just five to shoot. Over Gordon. And it's Beverly missing. And it's still within reach. Maybe, but they are hanging on by a thread. They need to make good on every possession. Pass to Gordon. Fournier against Mba Amuta. Here's Bamba. Defense right on him. Counter. Well, that is NBA level right there. It's the way the game is supposed to be played. Guys competing at the highest level. And the Clippers call time here. Now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Lou Williams. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Beverly dishes to Gortat. 
Fournier against Williams. Shins over Fournier. Oh, no good there. The potential game winner off the mark. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. Glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this one. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. So the overtime period is now ticking away. Should be fun. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got. Gallinari and Harris, your small and power forwards. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. And it's Gortat in at the five. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. Martin's checked in for Ken Birch. Jarrell Martin! Martin, the pass to Isaac. Grant gets a wide open look. And there are the Magic with another bucket. The Clippers trail. Now here's Beverly. Pass to Williams. The tray. And the three ball is good. Williams has got 32 points in the game. He's in control when it matters, giving them a tremendous advantage right here. Grant finds Martin. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And the Magic lead by one. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Williams against Simmons. 13 feet away. That one's not going to go. And Orlando the other way now. And here is Isaac. Simmons dishes to Grant. To the paint. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. -oop. I gotta say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. And Beverly kicks to Gortat, drains it from 17 feet out. This is what happens when he gets on a roll. I mean, you're not going to see a better rhythm shooter than this guy. Beverly against Grant. The pass to Martin. To the inside. Isaac. And down it goes. Dunk threw off a wonderful assist. Yeah, and Isaac, he just makes dunking look easy. It has an incredible reach and quickly gets up off the floor to throw that one down. Now here's Williams. Passes it to Harris. Over Gordon. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. 19 points for Tobias Harris. The Magic have gone a perfect four for four on their field goal attempts in overtime. And the dunk by Grant. And really, he epitomizes what a point guard should be. I mean, his skills as a passer might actually be matched by that creativity he shows around the rim. Well, judging by that jam, Greg, I'd say you're absolutely right. He also is one of the most skilled finishers in the league. Yet another spectacular play. He is a big guy, and Gortat doesn't play the finesse game. This is a guy who's all about strength. Forget about laying it up there. He's going to take the power approach. Bamba is checked in for Orlando. We're now about three minutes into this overtime period. Two minutes. And the call will be against Harris. That is his first foul of the game. Tipped away. 
Gallinari with the steal. Good eyes by the defense. Clearly, that's not where he wanted the pass to go, and he's frustrated. It's blocked. Here's Simmons. Fires the three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Harris has got six rebounds in the game. Out to the right wing. Beverly the pass to Williams. Stolen by Grant. We're now over three and a half minutes through this overtime period. It's good from Gordon on the assist by Grant. Ten points for Aaron Gordon. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Clippers trail by three. Williams looking around. And it's blocked by Simmons. Now Isaac. Outside, Simmons. He kicks it to Bamba. Pocket six. Pass to Grant. Over Beverly. No good from Grant. And so it's Gallinari with it. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. And it's Harris off the drive. Here's Gorta. Yes! This is where Tobias has really improved. Keeping his eyes up, making plays for others. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. Beverly against Grant. Pocket six. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And they had a foul to give, but you want to use it on the ground. Aaron Gordon. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by two. Seven seconds left in the first overtime is what you're taking. And it all comes down to this. Still enough time on the clock that they should be able to get a real good look. A lot of time left, which should allow for a really good shot if they run the right play. Outside Williams over Simmons. Can't cash in. And so the big win by Orlando in a tight game. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for him in overtime. They yeah, probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire, but give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime, and, and this win has to feel satisfying. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin, with Evan Fournier. Hey, Evan, does a win like tonight's against this kind of competition show you how far you've come as a team? Yeah, sure. You know, we obviously showing progress. But uh, we want to be a, a very good team. We are very ambitious. Nothing wrong with a little ambition, Evan. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. So long.